hello everyone again uh, welcome to this video in this video we are going to basically draw draw something on our google map uh, so basically when you are using directions api or places api or if we need to show show route between two different uh, points in the map you basically need these kind of things and then uh, if you are doing some kind of filtration maybe you need to find restaurants around you in your five kilometer radius uh, you basically need a circle kind of thing uh, and then uh, if if any of the locations in your database falls inside the radius or, or that circle you can basically show them so yeah these for these kind of use cases you can basically uh, use this uh, so we're going to implement very basic kind of a line drawing line drawing concept and circle drawing concept in this video so for that one what i'm going to do is i'm going to, going to go to my activity underscore maps and and then add more buttons here okay so the first button uh, will be for my line so match parent uh, wrap content and i'll give an id this id can be go to the okay delhi go to delhi uh, and i'll also have a text here i can type go to delhi here okay so this will be my first button i also add a second button uh, for drawing a circle in my map using uh using my current location as my center so i'll just create draw a circle and then uh, my text will be draw circle okay so these are the two buttons that I've added here. You can do the same. And we go back to maps activity. Now again, we are continuing from the last video uh, where we left off in the last video. So if you happen to watch the last three videos, I'll put a link in the description below. You can just uh, go through it one by one and then come back to this video to better understand it, okay? So I already have a button, I guess here. So, okay. So now uh, going back to the top now i need to define my two more buttons the first button is go to delhi yeah so this is the one and the other button is draw circle okay i also name it draw circle okay so now we, uh, we need to initialize these two buttons we've already initialized btn here yesterday i guess uh, in our previous video so the f so the second button is go to delhi find by id r dot id dot go to delhi and our third button is draw circle equals to find v by id r dot id dot is it draw circle yes it's draw circle let me quickly verify this yes so it's draw circle okay so what i need to do here is now first we'll implement this line drawing thing and then we'll go to circle okay so set on click listener new on click listener okay first we are going to uh, get our current location latitude and longitude uh, inside this on click okay so if i go to my uh, on location change i guess let me check i think i have saved my location somewhere yeah so my location uh, which is provided using this location object is assigned to this m location so i can basically retrieve this current latitude and longitude or like current latitude and longitude of my location using this m location so so what i'm going to do at first is i'm going to run that long first i'll create an object current equals to new lat long and for and for my current latitude and longitude i can use m location dot get latitude and m location dot get longitude now uh, the line drawing uh, concept is given by uh, polyline options uh, the class we use is polyline here but before we do that i want to uh, move my camera towards my current location so what i can do is m map dot uh, animate camera and camera update factory dot new lat long and this my current location is my 
current object which belongs to the lat long class now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a polyline here polyline line equals to m map dot add polyline uh, so this is it will be provided by polyline options now i need some more parameters so polyline options dot add i need my lat long points uh, which is basically going to be my current point i guess yes the current point and uh, i'll also need to give uh, the latitude and longitude value uh, of my of my end point uh, where uh, where i want to end the line so what i can do here is uh, okay should I, yeah so new lat long since i uh, since i've since I've not defined it, so I'm not sure about the latitude, latitude and longitude value of Delhi. So let me check quickly. Yes, so latitude, latitude and longitude of Delhi. Yes, so it's twenty eight point seven and seventy seven point one zero. Okay, so what I can do is. 28, 28.7 degree latitude and 77.1 degree longitude. Uh, I think I missed some kind of bracket here. So new polyline options uh, dot add current and then comma uh, my latitude and longitude and let me set the width of my line dot width. It's going to be five. Uh, I'm going to make it quite thicker there and then and then the color of the line I'll give it a red color so color dot red okay so this should draw our line uh, we'll also implement the draw circle function and then we'll run it all together okay so now for now for draw circle draw circle dot set on click listener new on click listener new on click listener uh, again I want to get my current latitude and longitude here so let me retrieve this first I want to navigate my camera or my map to my current location and I also want to introduce a zoom feature here okay so current and then I need to give maybe how many X zoom I need okay so let it be 10 for now and after that I need a circle here circle circle equals to m map dot and map dot add circle new circle options and then we give the rest of the parameter so so in case of circle we need basically our center point so we can give center as our current location uh, we can also give uh, radius now this radius is is always going to be in meters so if you want five kilometer radius you basically need to give five thousand here so let's give it ten thousand for now okay we need to, we're trying to draw a circle in ten kilometer radius for now and then we'll have fill color fill color well uh, i don't want the want the circle color to completely cover the map so let me choose a transparent transparent property here for color and after that uh, stroke color stroke color is basically the boundary color that we have so yeah we can place this we can place any color here let me select color dot blue okay no sorry we can do blue here and after this I also need my stroke width basically the the thickness of my boundary so let me give it five again like I did earlier and this should actually uh, draw the circle in my map now let me run this app I'll check if I have any errors here I think I do have some error let me check so yeah somewhere down the line semicolon is expected I think it's here so the semicolon is given and I guess we're done so let me run this application again uh, and do we have our screen here yeah so we do have our screen here and let's see what happens once we click those two buttons okay should not take much time for the installation because the app is already installed we're just rerunning it so yeah 
and the application is installed now in default we have not pointed pointed the map to anywhere else so the runtime permission is already given so we don't need to worry about that now basically we can see our new coordinate and then a button here for achieving the current location now when I go to Delhi uh, the code should actually uh, do the following things it should first animate my camera towards my current location and then draw a line from my current location to Delhi so let's see if it does that or not so when we click go to Delhi it navigates and then I guess we can see the ma see the line here drawn from uh, my current location to 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 the given coordinate in New Delhi okay so this was what I was trying to do using line uh, and again we'll do the same for the circle so I'll first navigate towards the United States and then see if uh, it actually moves okay so in case of circle what it should do is it should animate my camera towards towards my current location and also it should it should zoom to my location and then draw a circle in this so let's see if it does that or not so draw a circle okay it's moved now I'm zooming into it and there's a and there's a circle here you can see which has the radius of 10 kilometers okay so this is how you do it and then the color transparent uh, has basically been implemented without hiding anything inside this map if I zoom this map again the circle keeps on growing bigger and then the stroke or the border color that you see that uh, we've set is is a blue color here and then the stroke width is basically five if you want a more thin line you can reduce the stroke width and then you can also change your colors here okay so uh, this is it for this video uh, you can run it on your on your end and if you have any problem do ask me in the comment section or uh, if you are my students you can ask me during the lecture hours